All right, guys, this is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I do mean over the top beautiful day. Here in Paradise, it is 79 degrees on Friday the 13th. Friday, May 13th. It has been a long, strange trip. I am back in Paradise. Good Lord, 1,700 miles dragging this old trailer. Dragging this old trailer. 1,700 miles on this cobbled together axle, but it performed admirably. So we got Sister Sandy all set up and her ready to plant her garden, and now I have to go home and decide what I'm gonna do with my own garden this year. Good Lord. How much work but look at this this is why we live in New York baby oh man so, uh, not sure what all of this the number one story on the planet this morning was about some record-breaking heat wave moving into the Northeast a record-breaking heat wave. Well, maybe 79 degrees is record-breaking for for May 13th. I don't know. Mm. It is good to be back. So I've got six months to kill here, here in paradise. Six months to kill. So. Uh, I don't know where to start. As I say, I, ne I never did find a gardener. So, uh, Andy the gardener, if you want to move in and be my gardener, the position is still open. Anybody who wants to move to Bugs in a Jar Farm and be Hambone's gardener, we can work that out. And, uh, good Lord, I don't even want to think about how much work I have to do. I think I'm building another pond. What do you guys think? Do you think that I need another pond built here in paradise? Mm. Looking at that little tiny house up on that hill, I know damn well that the building inspector knows that that tiny house, full view of the road, So, you know, I've been looking at all these dead trees and, and I'm, I'm just wondering maybe maybe they just haven't gotten their leaves yet in middle middle of May. I'm thinking these are probably the ash trees. I've got a big ass, yeah, this has still got to be these ash trees. I have this big ass ash tree and a couple of smaller ones. Groot, I still don't know what's going on. I gonna find out how much tree work I have to deal with there <clears throat> and uh, figure that out how I'm getting these trees on the ground oh I do not know where God damn it where I get the uh, get the energy so this is my buddy who uh, so he's got these two tiny houses down there. All right, looks like his project coming along. All right, we got home improvement. Home improvement down in the valley. So I guess I just missed buying this 16 acres here. 16 acres for $30,000. It's pretty much north facing hillside and a little bit of floodplain. And so here's this house. Okay, that's that 16 acres. Probably should have bought that. So here's this house on 10 acres for 82,000 if you want to be my neighbor, but I think that's under, I think that $82,000 house on 10 acres of land is already sold. 
Mmm, look at all these flowers blooming. All the daffodils and the lilacs and Man, look at all of this green grass and dandelions. All right. We are getting close to Bugs in a Jar Farm. All right, drum roll. Well, everything looks uh, pretty nice. I haven't seen any signs of major destruction over the winter. I know it was a pretty rough winter up here in the valley. But, uh, no signs of major catastrophes, but of course I'm not home yet. Alright. So my buddy here who had the hip camp last year, I can't find him anywhere on hip camp. So I guess I have the only hip camp down here this year, so I shouldn't have any uh, shouldn't have any competition from my neighbor for the hip camp dollars. All right, he's got an Airstream trailer parked out there. Oh, and I see he has a yurt. I'm going to have to go check out my buddy's yurt. Okay, we're coming up to Bugs in a Jar Farm. Let's see if my two closest neighbors survive the winter. And we got to figure out how to turn this damn trailer around. All right, well, this place looks totally fine. They, they didn't wash away. She is out there planting flowers. Planting flowers. This little trailer seems to have made it okay. Here we are coming into Bugs in a Jar Farm for the first time in six months. Let's see what it looks like. It looks just right. It is springtime, busting out all over on, at Bugs in a Jar. All right. Let's see one new tree down. There's probably 20 trees over my 14 acres. See all these. These got to be. Oh, my, th these are beaver trees probably. Where are the beavers? Let's see if they got their dam blown up. No, look at the beaver pond. Looks like they're leaving the beavers alone. All right. So this is where I'm doing a lot of work this year is down here. So Alistair, if you're listening. So this is where I'm putting uh, my next pond in. It's going to go in right here. I've got to figure out how to get a road up here. Get some road building so we can bring our gas sucking truck. Am I getting a road in there? Looks like we had a little bit of a washout here. Good Lord, the water must have been coming down. I don't think it look like that last year my bridge has caved in to the washout Want to do some road construction all right so here we go the Hambone Hilton will be coming into view I see uh, realize 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 his van is right where it was six months ago all right, and here's all realize himself. Yeah, that's I gotta do some clean up there. All right, look at the tiny house, man. Here we are. All right, brother. Good. Are you ready for another summertime? <laughs> Come see us at Bugs in a Jar. It's looking beautiful. Here we go again. 
take three. Come see us. Bye, guys.